Why does primary hyperparathyroidism happen? I'm Dr. Balak Larry, I'm for Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. Hyperparathyroidism happens because, generally speaking, one of the cells in one of the glands, let's say this one, gets a mutation in it that changes that cell. Now that cell now wants a higher calcium number, so it produces a lot more PTH, right? And as it's working more and more, it gets duplicates itself and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And the normal parathyroid cells shrivel up and get smaller until you have one big parathyroid tumor ultimately. And by big, I mean something like the tip of my finger is huge, right? Um, and then with a little, little tiny edge of normal parathyroid here at the edge of it. So all of this becomes a little sliver at the edge, okay? Now, to show you, generally speaking, when you look at the comparison of calcium to PTH, it follows this curve. For this person, their normal calcium level is 9.0, so they have a graph of relationship between calcium and PTH that follows this. So when your calcium is low, the PTH is high. When the calcium is high, PTH is low high as compared to this person's want and desires. This is called the calcium set point, right? So if this person gets a mutation in one of the cells that now changes the setting for calcium for that cell. Now there's more complicated than this. There's a lot more involved, but I'm simplifying. Now the setting of calcium is set to 11 for this one, right? As the calcium number goes up because this is producing a lot of PTH, the normal parathyroid function less and less and less, and the abnormal parathyroid that's tr taking the system hijack duplicates itself and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until it tries to get you to this curve, which is the curve for the parathyroid tumor. So hyperparathyroidism always happens, primary hyperparathyroidism always happens because of mutations, either in one cell or a genetic mutation that runs in families in all of the cells. Right, um, and sometimes there's external factors uh, causing it. Secondary hyperparathyroidism happens because of kidney failure, vitamin D deficiency, so on and so forth. If you're interested in clear parathyroid information, visit us at parathyroid.net. Be well.